My name's Vicky Cornish and I'm the artist behind Stay, the current installation in the gallery shop at Maitland Regional Art Gallery. I've been providing woven textiles to the gallery shop for several years now, but last year the gallery approached me to create an installation for this space. This was quite a departure for me in terms of the scale of the work and also in terms of creating a work that was purely decorative. Most of my woven work focuses on wearables and on homewares. This work, however, still connects to some of the important processes that cover all my textiles. I'm really passionate about taking raw fibres right through to the end product using simple hand tools. You don't need to have really fancy, really complicated tools to make beautiful textiles. It's even more satisfying if you can use some fibres that you've sourced locally. All the coloured sections in this installation began their life as alpacas out on farms right here in the Hunter Valley. I really believe that the more people that go through that process of taking fibre through to a finished fabric, the more that people will come to appreciate and value our textiles and perhaps then we'll also be able to reduce some of our textiles waste. The shape that I have focused on in this installation has a few different connotations for me. Obviously the middle panel follows the change, the transition in autumn leaves. But as I was weaving this panel, a very different transition was taking place across the globe. I found that the world was going from go to stop, from a life of busyness to a life on pause. And that colour transition became a metaphor for me for what was going on in the world around me as I wove. The other panels then took on more of an idea of a cocoon, a safe, warm space that you go into and you stay and you wait for transformation to occur. You wait for a change so that you can emerge safely. The original inspiration for these spaces, however, these shapes, came from this tool here. This is a spindle, an incredibly simple and ancient tool for turning fibres into a strong and usable thread. And this beautiful shape here is called a cop. Every time that I use one of these spindles, I create this shape and that's how I store the yarn that I've made. I know that people have been creating cops of yarn on spindles like this for thousands and thousands of years. So every time I take up my spindle and do so, I feel like I'm taking up my place in thousands of years of textile history. When we originally designed this installation, we planned for it to go in the front windows of the gallery. And that's turned out to be a very fortunate decision because with current restrictions, you're not able to sit where I'm currently sitting and you're not able to view the work from this position. You can, however, come up to the front steps of the gallery and view the work from the other side of the windows. Hopefully soon, the gallery doors will be able to open again and it won't be so important that we stay. <laughs>